Senator Isaacson lived a life of public service that continued after he left the Senate in 2019 for his debilitating issues with Parkinson's disease. And, and that speaks to the true definition of his life here in Georgia, public service. One quote best sums up Johnny Isaacson's political career. I truly don't know a single person who didn't like Johnny Isaacson. That was Maine Senator Susan Collins. He possessed a skill not taught to many political leaders, an attention to detail. He knew everything and everyone around him. When I started doing more at 11 Alive, he noticed and he sent me a letter of congratulations and encouragement. Seeing Sir, Senator Isaacson at a political event was like watching a prize fighter enter the arena. He would sweep across the ballroom, shaking hands, remembering names, making eye contact with all. How's your youngest, Naomi? Third grade? Where does time go, he would ask. Important people, authorities, colleagues, media, and voters. Senator Isaacson bounced off all nimbly with poise and with purpose. Born in Atlanta, a graduate of UGA, Senator Isaacson served in the Georgia Air National Guard before he began his career in state politics. He served in both the Georgia House and Senate, but he had ambitions beyond the Gold Dome. He ran unsuccessfully for governor in 1990. In 1996, he ran for the U.S. Senate. He was the underdog and he was the bulldog. When are you going to stop being a hypocrite and start talking about what you believe in? But ultimately, he lost the Republican primary to Guy Milner. Senator Isaacson definitely stood out in that 1996 race, a Georgia Republican who supported abortion rights. I will not vote to amend the Constitution to make criminals of women and their doctors. I trust my wife, my daughter, and the women of Georgia to make the right choice. He was not apologetic about it. We did what realized is risky, but I mean, with risk there's reward. There's no risk in telling people what your position is. Years later, Senator Isaacson would say he was pro-life with exceptions. That 1996 disappointment was the last election he would lose. In 1999, he won a seat in Congress, representing Georgia's 6th Congressional District. He was re-elected twice. In 2004, he ran for the Senate again, beating two other Republicans, Congressman Matt Collins and businessman Herman Cain in the primary. He defeated the Democrat Denise Majet in the general election, joining the class of 2005 in Washington. And tomorrow we're going to go to work, and I promise you what I've always given you, 150% effort, the best I have to offer, and I'll never fail you for lack of effort. God bless you and thank you. Senator Isaacson easily won re-election twice in 2010 and 2016. His 2016 campaign had to be the toughest. A year earlier, he announced he had Parkinson's disease, but he vowed it would not slow down his re-election bid, and it did not. I moderated a live debate with two opponents inside Georgia Public Television before a large, boisterous audience. The opponents were uncomfortable arriving ahead of Senator Isaacson. Both were clearly nervous. They gave little attention to the studio crowd. A fast handshake with me, limited eye contact, and then they got behind their podiums. Senator Isaacson was clearly diminished physically by Parkinson's as he entered, but working the crowd, working the room, saying hello to his opponents, asking me about family, the senator established very quickly he was the man. He was quick on his feet in the debate, a whirling dervish of facts and figures with the innermost knowledge of running the American government. Facing his overmatched opponents elicited a sports reference, major league hitting facing double-A pitching. His legacy, many will say his work for our nation's veterans. During his chairmanship of the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee, the group passed more than 50 pieces of legislation to reform the VA. But as a freshman senator, he danced through a political minefield when Delta Airlines filed for bankruptcy and prepared to terminate its pension plan. He went to work on a bill that would allow the airline to stretch out payments on its pension plans. Delta is our airline and it is an absolutely essential part of the greatness of this state. Many lawmakers, including then President George W. Bush, were against bailout type help for airlines. This former real estate agent and owner of his own business put on his deal-making hat. The bill passed the Senate 93 to 5. In 2009, Kate Pusey was a Georgian serving in the Peace Corps. She was killed in Africa. Senator Isaacson went there personally to try and secure justice for Kate and her family. He also drafted a bipartisan bill to protect other volunteers in the future. 
President Obama signed the Peace Corps Volunteer Protection Act as defined by Kate in 2011. I attended a small dinner party in Cobb County in honor of Lakeside High School graduate and my former television intern, Samantha Power. Ambassador Power had been confirmed as the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. She had been sponsored by Senator Isaacson on the floor of the U.S. Senate. He had used me as a character reference on her abilities. The dinner had Senator Saxby Shambliss and the Coca-Cola president and other leaders of business and politics. But Senator Isaacson that night was the alpha. He shaped the conversation. He set the tone. Senator Isaacson has always filled the room. It's something not taught, but understood by all when he enters. You know it when you see it. When he gave his farewell speech to Congress in December of 2019, Senator Isaacson proclaimed, there's something missing in this place. What was missing was bipartisanship, something he preached and practiced. Sometimes it was there for all to see. His embrace of Congressman John Lewis remains one of the most memorable moments in recent Georgia political history. He voted with Republicans, but he respected Democrats. We can do it. We can do anything. We may be called a liberal, we may be called a rhino, we may be called whatever it is. Let's solve the problem and then see what happens. He received a standing ovation from the entire Senate chamber after his farewell speech. Respect, cooperation, imagine that now. He's right, you know, bipartisanship is sorely missed. Senator Isaacson will be sorely missed as well. The definition of a great man, a very great man. Senator Isaacson led by this motto of his, there are two types of people in this world, friends and future friends. He is survived by his wife of many years, Diane, his three children, as well as nine grandchildren. Wow, Jeff, that was really a, a, a very touching piece, and hopefully lawmakers today can learn from Isaacson and, and move forward and work together. Thank you for that.